Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Drupal 9.1 on Ubuntu 20.04. So this is Ubuntu 20.04. You should work on any LTS Ubuntu releases. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like and share the video if you are able to follow the instruction and download and install Drupal on your system. So here we go. So in order to install Drupal, we need to have a database MySQL pre-installed and also Apache as a web server. If we install PHP on my system is basically 7, I guess, 7.4. Let's see. 7.4.3 however the 8 is already released so and this is 8 is almost will be ready to sh be shipped in just few days a week so let's go ahead and download install this uh, Drupal 9.01 so before we proceed there are many changes in Drupal Nine. So it supports PHP 8 and you can see PHP 8 compatibility. Symphony 5.6 forward compatibility. Node change node from URL context may affect block visibility. That's something. Other thing views exposed filter form changes. So these are a few changes for form after. So if you are kind of a Drupal developer, you definitely want to have a look or or a learning like learner. You want to develop uh, Drupal 9 themes or modules. You definitely want to have a look at this release before you go ahead and download and install and start developing modules or themes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this link here. Copy the link address and uh, I'm going to use this. Hopefully, you can see it. If you can't, uh, let me go ahead and change the color. So, uh, go to profile and color is going to be like that. Uh, leave it now. So, hopefully, you can see it now clearly. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open a new tab here and download my triple line thing in the um, directory where where is it so i'm going to put this in here in html all right so let's go ahead and do that so first we're going to change the directory so it's going to be b var www html and here we are going to download it so wget make sure you already have wget if you haven't simply go ahead and install it by uh, typing sudo app get install wget and you will have wget installed on your system and this will finish the download in seconds now we can go ahead and check so you can see I've got Drupal 9.1.0 zip so what we need to do you also want to make sure you got unzip installed if you haven't simply go ahead and install it so the installation is very simple sudo apt install unzip and you're done now we are going to uninstall this one so uh, yeah so simply say unzip and then the uh, zip folder name and hit enter this is going to take okay so we are almost done you can see the process is very simple so what we need to do I can go ahead and remove the zip folder and Drupal let's see zip so that's done let's change into Drupal and let's see what we have so we have these things here now we simply have to rename the folder so I'm going to go back to the previous HTML folder here and so move you simply say move Drupal to let's say D9 
hit enter and that's been moved so we have duple line and nothing else so if you go ahead and change the duple uh, check the duple line thing here and we have everything that we need so that's how you basically download and unzip and then rename the Drupal folder. Now we can go ahead and check if it's available to us. So simply type the folder name. And in my case, it's a do nine, sorry, D9. And this takes me to the installation page here. Now I simply go ahead and save and continue. Choose a profile, so I'm going to go with the standard one. If you want to try demo Wami, you can definitely do that. Uh, but I'm going to go with this install with commonly used feature pre-configured. You can also try the minimal. Okay, so let's go with the standard one. Okay, writable public download method. So this is something that we need to fix settings doesn't exist and just because we don't have this writable thing otherwise everything is just fine so what we need to do we need to give some writable command so, so this is what we need to do sudo for servers so uh, let's do this thing here so go to this thing and then simply and let's see if so this will have sudo. So I already have sudo. Anyways. So this is what you need to do. So simply go ahead. This is going to be your username. So in my case it's AKS. And here we are going to type the um, D9, the folder name. And type in your username. So that's the first thing that you need to do to give permission to make changes on here on uh, the server and then the other thing that we need to do is this and this is for server so server can make changes if needed so like this time this needs to reset or change some file name now so that's Thing that you need to do now we need to just go ahead and refresh it simply go at the bottom and say try again so that was done now we need the uh, database name so I'm going to create the database so make sure you got MySQL installed and you are in the directory if you don't know how to get in so simple so MySQL root and then password type in your password here now I'm going to create a database. So simply say I'm going to say D9. Oops, query. So you see database is solely MySQL is not case sensitive, so that's a good part. So here we go. So we have D9, you can see it here. And make sure you remember your password and username. So in my case, there's a D9. Our database name is um, root and we have password so you don't need to do anything here simply go ahead and save and continue so this oh parcoma server and equivalent so this only supports mysql and mysql variants like mariadb and parcoma so comma is a bit, bit faster, that's, that's what they say, than MariaDB and MySQL. So if you're going to production, I would suggest you should try MariaDB or Percoma. So it's a very easy process. Earlier it wasn't so easy. So nowadays, uh, Drupal 9 is basically a bit easier to install okay all right guys so thank you for your patience you can see drupal 9 is almost installed it installed like 40 modules view the view ui module was the last one and this is trying to complete the installation here you can see 
and then we will have to configure our site so here we go so the Drupal 9 installation is very quick and I did not have any issue except that I had to give permission so D9 I think I should change the name like this uh, site email this is just for demonstrate demonstration purpose so um, yeah perfectly fine default country go ahead and choose your country time zone is uh, Kolkata here Okay, so I will have to try again. Oh, here we go. Check for updates, automatically receive email notification, uncheck those if you want to, and then save and continue. So, easy process. You can see this is the site name. Yeah, this is your user and password. That's very important if you're going to install it on a server like live server. These must be very unique. Okay, so we are almost done. This is the very last step in Drupal 9 installation on Ubuntu 20.04, 18.04, and almost the same on 16.04. Is it taking so long? It's almost done. I think it's my server, so we are done guys. So that's the installation. Now it goes ahead and logs you in as well. So this is Drupal 9 on the system. Let's see if you have any changes here. So this is appearance area. You can go ahead and enable, I guess, why is it very slow? Okay, here we go. We have this Olivera theme. You can go ahead and install. Um, this is also experimental. I don't know why it's still experimental. Um, are you sure you wish to install experimental theme? Yes. Would you like to continue? It's slow, my gosh. I don't know why it's so that. So if that's the case, <laughs> you want to make sure you optimize your Drupal 9 server and Drupal 9 website. Do I need to restart something? Okay, so seven is going to be the admin theme which is by default so this is basically Olivera so if you go ahead and sign out so you will be able to see how it looks okay so it looks better RSS feed home that's where we are login button and then we have some animation going on here okay so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestion leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you for watching please like share and subscribe